Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is JT Bricks here, back for another LEGO Star Wars video here today. And today we're talking about some more 2021 LEGO Star Wars rumors. Today we have some big rumors for the rest of the year. Let's get right into it, shall we? Starting out with the first rumor for 2021, we have the 75307 Advent Calendar, which is supposed to be $40. Obviously, we know we're going to get an Advent Calendar every year, but we have to confirm it. And, well, 75307 for $40 is going to be the Advent Calendar. What's going to be in it, we don't really know yet, but still, it's an Advent Calendar, so if you're interested in those, it's good for you. Now, previously, there was a rumor here that set number 75308, which is $200, was going to be a UCS Republic gunship. Now, instead, what's actually this set is supposed to be, is it's actually supposed to be a new UCS R2-D2 kind of statue figurine type set based off of the 2012 version. This is basically a remake of that. So, pretty interesting. I can't lie. I think it's going to be a good set. Um, you know, obviously, it's still just a rumor, but still, I wouldn't mind getting one of these. You know, I have the mini, the child statue figurine thing that they made, and I think that's a great set. So, a new R2-D2 sounds awesome, but still, kind of a surprising little addition here. I don't think anyone really saw this one coming, but for $200, we're just going to have to see what it looks like. Next up in set number 75310, we have some exciting news. This is going to be $20, and it is supposed to be the Mandalore kind of throne and vault dual set between Ahsoka and Maul. I believe the Ahsoka minifigure we are getting is going to be the same one as the one we got with the AAT, the Clone Wars version, obviously, of Ahsoka in Season 7. That's probably fine. I mean, there's no reason to really change that minifigure at all. Just a nice minifigure in general, so it'll be another way you can get it, and she'll be in a cheaper set, this time $20 instead of the $40 AAT. We're obviously going to get a new Clone Wars Season 7 Darth Maul, though. That is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm very excited for this set. Obviously, a small dual set, so it's nothing much, but it will come with the throne set. And you can also get Darth Maul's vault thing that holds him in place while he is captured by the Republic at the end of the Clone Wars. So this is going to be an awesome set. I wish there were maybe a little bit more minifigures, like maybe a couple of clones or something like that, or a Mandalorian. Still, though, this set is going to be absolutely amazing. Moving on to set number 75311, we have the Imperial Troop Transport based off of the Mandalorian Season 2. and It is going to be $40 itself, and it's going to come with some Stormtroopers, Mando, Cara Dune, as well as an Imperial Mortar Trooper, so that yellow guy from that one episode of the Mandalorian, which obviously, it's kind of funny because he actually doesn't appear at all like with an Imperial Troop Transport, but he's in this set, so either way... You know, not necessarily super accurate, but still a really nice minifigure. So honestly, I think it's a good addition, even though it doesn't really make sense. Going to be a cool set. I'm pretty excited to see with this one and see how it turns out. On to set number 75312, we have a new Slave 1 that's going to be 50 bucks. Pretty interesting set. Uh, obviously, we just had the 20th anniversary Slave 1, which is an awesome model. Um, I don't have one, but I feel like I should get one still. To get a new Slave 1 that's going to be $50 and going to be a little bit smaller, it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's just not going to be as good as the big model, but it will fit in with the kind of, you know, smaller price lower uh, piece count sets that LEGO has been making, like the TIE Fighter and X-Wing. So it'll fit in with those. It's going to include Boba Fett and Han Solo. So it's going to be original trilogy based, unfortunately, not Mandalorian based. Still, though, going to be a cool set. I don't own a Slave one, so I might get the 20th anniversary set and this one. I don't know. I'm going to have to choose that for myself. But regardless, pretty good set. I can't lie. Who doesn't like a new Slave one? Moving on, we have a set here that possibly might be my favorite of this new wave that's supposed to come out is set number 75309. It is going to be a UCS Republic gunship for $350, so not $200 like we previously speculated, but $350. It's going to be big. It's going to be awesome, so really no complaints here, even though it is going to be much more expensive. It's probably going to be absolutely crazy. Uh, as for the minifigures, we don't really know yet. Um, could be Cody, Jedi Bob. Who knows? Really no speculation there right now. But it's supposed to come out in July, I believe, so I am very, very excited for this one. This one's going to be absolutely amazing. Set coming out later in the year around the time of the advent calendar, set number 75313, and this is apparently going to be an $800 over 6,700 you know, 6, piece Lego set, so it's going to be a huge, you know, big UCS set, and it's either supposed to be a UCS Death Star or an AT-AT. Now, right now, it's like 90% AT-AT and 10%, you know, 10% chance that's going to be a Death Star, so... To get a UCS AT-80, it's kind of weird because obviously we just got the one for 2020, but, you know, in our productions in his one of his videos, he said, you know, like, it's, you know, the UCS AT-80 is catered to a completely different audience than the normal playset AT-80s are, so I can completely understand that, what he's thinking there, and, I, you know, regardless, it's still a cool set, it's a UCS set, it's an original trilogy set, it had to be made eventually, and uh, it's going to be over 6,700 pieces, $800, so you're going to have to lose some money for this one, but it is going to be absolutely insane if this is what ends up happening the death star would be cool to me as well you know there's still a chance that that is what it's supposed to be but right now it's looking like the 75313 800 dollar over 6700 piece set is going to be a ucs atat -AT. i cannot wait to see what this thing looks like 
That set number 75314 is going to be a $100 Bad Batch shuttle. We're finally getting it. Seems a little bit late, but uh, the new Bad Batch uh, TV show is going to be coming out this year. So honestly, although it is later than the Clone Wars appearance, the Bad Batch show is going to be coming out anyway. So really no complaints here if you ask me. We're going to get all five Bad Batch members. That includes Wrecker, Tech, Hunter, Crosshair, and of course Echo. What version of Echo we're going to be getting, I don't know. Nobody really knows, but still... This set looks awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Just another unique set and, uh, you know, something we'll probably never get again. So I'm excited. Moving on, we have some other great news here in set number 75315, $160. Moff Gideon's Cruiser is supposed to be coming out. Now, it's supposed to be just like this light cruiser here. It's going to be a little bit different than this model, but pretty much around the same size. It's going to have some great minifigures like Moff Gideon, the Mandalorian, the child, and such, and maybe even a dark trooper. Who knows? Regardless, though, this set's going to be awesome. Also, Fennec Shan's supposed to be in the set as a minifigure. It's going to be an awesome set. I really can't wait for this one. Um, just getting an Imperial Light Cruiser in general is awesome. It's Mandalorian theme. Getting Moff Gideon is going to be awesome. Really no complaints here. I mean, I have to admit, the winter 2021 wave for LEGO Star Wars was not great, but this is already looking a lot better. You know, if all this stuff comes out to be true, this would be awesome. Even if, like, 75% of it comes out to be true, that would also be awesome. This thing is just another great rumor that we have gotten. Another very intriguing and awesome set that we're supposed to be getting is a 75316 $60 Mandalorian Gauntlet Fighter. You know, I was kind of surprised when I saw this because, yeah, you know, it's a Mandalorian ship. It's in the Mandalorian TV show itself, at least the last episode. And it's in the Clone Wars, but, you know, I didn't think we were going to get one of these ever again after we got one in 2011, I believe. But to get another one, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's going to be similar to the Clone Wars version. It is a Clone Wars-based Gauntlet Fighter, not a red one, which is unfortunate, but still... It's pretty cool. It's going to come with Bo-Katan, finally, as well as Gar Saxon and a normal blue uh, Mandalorian, I guess, loyalist Mandalorian, I guess you could say. It's going to be an awesome set, and it looks like Gar Saxon has his own helmet mold with the horns, not going to be some different pieces. So this is going to be awesome. I really can't wait for this one. Lego really ramped up their game for the late 2021 stuff, as far as I'm concerned, if all this stuff ends up being true. On at set number 75319, this is an unknown set. It's $30, so the same price as a Super Battle Pack here with the four or five of first troopers and the two battle droids. So this could be a battle pack. This could be something else, you know, completely unrelated. It could be related to the Mandalorian. It could be related to sequels, original trilogy, Clone Wars, maybe something else, Bad Batch related. We really don't have any idea. But if this were to be a battle pack, that to me would just be like the perfect like cherry on top to this excellent wave that looks like we're going to be getting in the later stages of 2021. Who knows what this will be? Hopefully it ends up being something good because right now things are looking really good as far as the end of 2021. To wrap up today's rumors with the final set, we have some knowledge of that is set number 75369. We don't exactly know the price of this thing. Should be around $60, I believe. It is supposed to be a Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber set. Kind of a, not UCS, but just collector's edition model, obviously, of the Meditation Chamber. It's going to be real nice. It's going to have Admiral Piet, some Stormtroopers, Darth Vader, obviously. It's going to be more of an adult-themed set, right? Kind of like the Helmet Series sets and such. So kind of a cool set. Pretty similar to the Bespin Duel, if you ask me. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting from this. And, uh, you know, just another cool set. I mean, something we've never gotten before, something we might not get again. And uh, even though it is original trilogy based, which, of course, we get plenty of original trilogy sets, this one's a pretty cool one and one that's unique. And like I said, not another Luke's Land Speeder, thankfully. So I'm excited for this one, too. You guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Again, a lot of really great rumors and news that we've gone so far. Like I said, if all this ends up being true, this would be absolutely amazing. I'm really hoping it does come true. I think it will. And uh, it's going to be a great year if this is the way things end. At least a great end to the year. That's for sure. Regardless, guys, if you want to see the list of the rumors and such, they will be in the description of the video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time on JT Bricks.